Hey guys, so it's um, the final day for the men at the Clash on the Coast. Yeah. Early in the morning, we are getting a training session in Bob yeah. Thompson over there. Nikolai Myers. Corey is down yeah. as well. Liz behind the camera and myself. We're just doing a. Um, so Bobby's got dumbbell at world, so we're going to focus on that. Yeah. Nick and myself are going to do some vlog and then we're going to do some throwing. So uh, just making use of the equipment that's here, making sure Bobby's yeah, keeping his training up for World Strongest Man this year. Is Bobby? Uh, it's Corey. Morning, Corey. Good morning. Limit the truck. You break it, you bought it. <laughs> Lozzie! I'm coming, I'm coming. Lozzie! <laughs> Wear my pads, Lozzie! Turns out Nikolai is quite good at accents and he likes to think he's good at ours. <laughs> No, it, it's it's more comedic if I absolutely butcher yours. <laughs> <laughs> we got big booby. Big booby. <laughs> big booby. <laughs> Bobbit Thompson. Bit <B> Bobbit. <laughs> Bobbit Thompson, the third. <laughs> First of his name. Nikolai's actually pretty good at dumbbell pressing, apparently. Apparently. Hot trash. We don't know. We don't have photographic evidence of this. How does it feel to be the second best dumbbell presser? According to one judge, <laughs> I'll shoot that shot. You're gonna take it back? If that's the standard, I've got no urge to do another world record. What do you think of a world record at the moment in the sport? Um, I think that it's the Wild West right now. Um, I think it could, if, if it's gonna be a thing, it needs a little bit of standardization because it's the one place in Strongman where you can standardize something. Yeah, there's a lot of variables when it comes to... And judges need to stick to us. I understand wanting the guy to get it, but if there's going to be a certain standard, whether it be world record, stone, deadlift, whatever, like there needs to be a very strict standard on what a good rep is. Anyway, I've hit a little bit of a nerve there, so we're going to move yeah. on. Yeah. But, <laughs> but he is I'm an extremely good. He is an extremely good dumbbell presser. Good we're fighter doing, we're, too. We're actually doing some vlog, but Bobby has dumbbell for worlds, and um, I might get Nikolai just yeah. giving him a few tips as well because sometimes these little guys know what they're talking about. Than he looks. I don't know how to feel about that. I feel like that was a little backhanded. It was a bit of a backhanded compliment, wasn't it? But he yeah. only teases the people he likes, I so do. take I'm it a, as a. I'm only mean to people I like. An overall compliment. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's light. Yeah, one team. Maybe, maybe. I bet it might be sub 100. Yeah, that's... that might be like 75. I don't think so. It's pretty light. And go get the scale. It's done. But like today, I know I'm not going to touch full potential. No. Or, or today yeah. we're focusing more on technique. Yeah. Just, just get you firing. Yeah, that's good. But sometimes people, they'll just say their equipment's heavier than it is, and then they get on, they go to competition, and it's you'd rather do better at competition. For sure. This handle feels huge. <laughs> I feel like this is a rare treat for strongman fans getting a full training session with Bobbit Thompson. Bobby's like Mr. T, he trains alone. Trains alone. <laughs> Handle feels thick too. When you're coached by Lars, he'll, he'll he'll do stuff for you. Yeah. I'm not used to that. No. <laughs> no. I've unloaded all of my thousand pound deadlifts on my own. Loaded and unloaded. Oof. <laughs> it's not a bad thing, but... It sucks. Sometimes it's nice to have something... That was like horrible. I think the worst one was Trey when he had to do that deadlift on his own. Oh, I cussed him out. <laughs> I'd, have been, I'd have flown down there. Yeah, like... 
you know, there's loads of people that would have helped. Nicolo's going to carry That's this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not that heavy. Yeah, I can. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> <laughs> There he goes. Ah, he's like one of the seven dwarfs. Look at him. Like a if you zero this, after all this, I'll be pissed. What was your guess, Lars? Best dumbbell. On, on the way. Thank you. Uh, I thought like 70, 80 pounds. Uh. What was yours? I said like 1 to 110. <laughs> I said 75. Mm hmm. 75.14. Oh, man knows his way. 75.14. I know my dumbbells. Okay. <laughs> actually, I think I have more camera time on the books. Hey, somebody actually videoed my record. <laughs> actually, you know what? Hold on. I, I think like his. six people videoed mine. She videoed mine. I had the. It was a good video, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it was. Did well. I had the great Lizzie. <laughs> <laughs> so piss off. You wanker. Oh, you, are you guys insulted by this or by me? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> <laughs> Neither. We like we, both. We don't get insulted that easily, do we? No, we can't afford I, to. I think that's a UK thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very much so. Uh, I will say the women in the UK, though, like frat boys over here. Like the topics <laughs> that you usually hear men banter about. Women do the in the women UK. Are, and it's, it's, I mean, at least you know where they stand. I'm not, not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it's good. <laughs> Just like, oh, okay. Hey, men don't get cancelled in the UK. <laughs> yeah, so I I used to be wider, yep. but I noticed when I did wider, I ended up pushed outside. So now it's it's I kind of, I'm here because when I drive, I step underneath the dumbbell as as it's landing for the jerk. Okay. I'm not that talented. No, it's weird because like you watch a lot of top dumbbell presses. No, but all do things Mateusz. slightly differently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some people have a very narrow stance. You look at Mateusz, for instance, he's kind of get both legs into it. Yes. Your position is very unique to kind of have both yeah, I, I, I turn into the so dumbbell. You're kind of pushing off the hip more. Yeah, so I create a four I create four points of contact. I have my hand obviously, my forearm, my shoulder, and then I put it right here. Down here. Yeah. And then I throw and I I have to be I had to learn to not step as I threw because I would throw it out, but throw up and then land right underneath the dumbbell because you don't want to lock it out to the side. What's your body weight by the way? Whose body weight? It's 125 pounds. It's been a while since I've done this. You gonna show us? Go master class. Still bites. Does it? Yeah. I still got hematoma from training the. Got a knot in my forearm. Uh, I want to ramp up a little bit. It's taking everything I can not to do what you're doing right now. So please. <laughs> rest, Bobby. Enjoy your rest. Be, enjoy being pampered. <laughs> Not good at that part. It, well, it's a strong man, it doesn't really happen. So. Yeah, no, I had to. <laughs> I remember when this sucked when I was really fat. Now it's not quite as bad. But I was like, oh, okay, yeah, we'll just go ahead and do this real quick. No problem. Mm -hmm. but the, the, the weaker you are when you learn how to dumbbell, the better a dumbbell yeah. you will be. My problem is I was pretty strong when I learned how to dumbbell already. So you rel relied on that sort of brute strength that you had. I, but I mean, yeah, the first day I touched a dumbbell, I hit a 200 pound dumbbell for us, I had no idea what I was doing. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, I definitely was strong enough, but that hurt me over the years a lot, I think. Yeah, it's, it's an event that doesn't necessarily rely on shoulder and tricep strength. No. It's more of an explosive movement. I'm done pressing out dumbbells. Like, I, if, it, if it's not there, I won't. That uh, that dumbbell in there with that big handle, I told him not to brace. I trained with it for the Arnold last year. Yeah. And I ended up pressing out a 242. And just hitting here and just finishing yeah. it. Fuck that dealt for a long time. Oh. Come on. Nice and fast. Think rack position first. Nice. When he, he drives, he's got good leg drive, but you can see like when he gets to halfway point, Depressing power, it just turns into a piston. I just think you can get more at the legs. Do 
You did a full on jump then, to be fair. Yeah, he jumped. I just noticed his shorts. Yeah. <laughs> They're good, aren't they? Awesome. They're good. <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> the shorts, Baya. <laughs> yes, I have booty shorts that have a stitch on them. So we have kind of matching oh, pairs, but Stitch is his favorite. Twinning. Character, so. <laughs> yeah, twinning. Feeling froggy, might load her. Might fuck around and load an extra plate on one side. <laughs> Yeah, you fucked around with that a lot longer than I would have. No one rescued him though. He was like, it's not the right way. And no one wanted to be that guy to ruin the ESPN That's show. I would 100% be that guy. Yeah. I don't care. Oh. Evan yells, it's in your head. I'm like, no, it's not. Yeah. yeah. It's in the dumbbell. <laughs> if it's in your head, it's literally 25 pounds heavier on the bottom. I wouldn't have it had it been any other way because it created like a, yeah. a moment, a fun memory for me. Fun memory for the audience. Put a little suspense on it. Yeah, but it's also because we hit it. Yes, if, if I hadn't hit it. We got an Anthony Thurman meme out of it as well. I'd, yeah, got a great meme. <laughs> if I hadn't hit it, I'd have been a very unhappy camper. Come on. Bless. Bless. Seven time positioning. Balance. What balance? Stump was horrible. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. that. Yeah, you know this is going to be a lot more unstable than a nice slate. Yeah, I just don't want to lose it backwards. No. It's just I can feel where it's back. It actually moved very well. Let's make a jump. Go. It's 200 on here. What's up? 200 on here. Yeah. Or 205. Uh, it's, well, we have 175, we added 30, so yeah, 205. 205. So we'll go like 100 kilos, maybe a little over. I don't know if 260's happening today. 200? <laughs> Come on. Come on, Bobby. Good. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Up. Well, look, it's already bent apart. Yeah. It's falling apart. Is that worse than when we started? Yes. Yes. Lost. Do we need to start with this dumbbell? I don't think you want to go any heavier on that dumbbell. No, no. look, it's properly bent it's, it's, in the middle. Look, look here, it's about oh. to blow apart. Yeah. See, it wasn't that way when we started. It wasn't this cracked. No. It, that crack started about here. No. So we've switched to a more... Yeah, I think Bobby's going to destroy this dumbbell if we go any heavier on it. Yeah. <laughs> cracked there already yeah and obviously there's injury risk to that as well so this we're just kind of like analyzing Bobby's technique there and he, he's had operations on his toes so he can't triple extend like say Nick can you can't kind of end up coming up onto the toe, so he's driving more through his heels, which is why you see that elevation off the floor. He's still trying to get the leg power into it, but he can't kind of dip, kind of extend up like most of us can. Bobby's a freak of nature. He's got strong legs, very strong upper body, obviously. And we're trying to make sure he uses those legs, but in a way that suits him. It's no disrespect, Bobby, but it's almost like training a disabled athlete. No, it's exactly what it is. But I mean, I'm lucky for you. This has been a problem I've had since I was 12. I've wrestled, I've played football, I've gotten all the way through my career with it. I was a decent power lifter with it. I was oh, a damn good you, football you player. Kind of, yeah, you've just adapted perfectly with it. Yeah. But for people that don't know, Bobby's had operation on both toes. You've got yeah. steel rods in them both. I've so. got two screws in each foot. Yeah. yeah. So, so you, you just can't function the same way as everyone else. So it's sometimes just adapting things and figuring out the best way for the individual athlete. You know, Nick's an unbelievable dumbbell presser, but Bobby just, just can't do it the same way. Uh, and I'll do it a different way as well. You find the kind of perfect way for you and then it's about practicing and practicing and practicing and just grafting that technique till it's absolute second nature. It's it's a testament to his pressing power because not only does it change the technique but it changes the timing on things a little bit. So you'd have a little bit more of a delay when you triple extend because you're waiting for that dumbbell to rise before you then finish off with the press because you don't want to press it out. So he's actually hitting at a, at a shorter range of motion 
and starting his press sooner. So he's getting a lot more press out of it because he loses probably three to four inches of extension in his body because he can't get on his toes. So there's a lot more going on than just triple extending or not triple extending. It's, it's impressive to be able to generate that kind of power in that a much shorter range of motion because we're talking here versus here. Yes, good. Throwing that dumbbell up into the sky. Punch. Nice. Yes. Probably be a, a big slater. Rogue or slater one. Because you're way tighter bar path wise. Because smaller. Yeah, you're like elbows higher. It'll be a monster. Your though. heavier one, I was paying attention to your drive because I know you're much more press out dominant. I was paying attention to seeing if that elbow sank and it had that arc. Because you're so strong, you can get away with it. That's so, what most people don't realize. Yeah. Is the average, even the average high level competitor isn't gonna get away with a dumbbell out here. No. So, because he had, the way he presses out, he can get away with a little bit out of group more than most people. Typically, like, even for me, like if I get out of group on 60%, I'm dumping it. Well, I also have a 200 kilo strict press. Yes, but it's just, a, I'm talking a matter of leverage. Like, the, the leverage on that is so much more. Oh, it pushes out. No, yes. This, this is the, it's denser, so I can get it closer to my streamline. Yep. There's more staying out over the point of my elbow. Yes. No, physics, you're exactly right. You're exactly right. It's like <laughs> runner's knee in the big toe joint. Like, what the fuck? It's like, like 12? Okay, cool. Yeah. I've never heard of it. It's called, uh, it's called, what is it? Uh, I can't remember what. Uh, hallux rigidus of the great toe joint. Like what? It's called hallux rigidus. Great toe joint. <laughs> sounds like a Roman it character. sounds very uh, regal, yeah. I wish it was. <laughs> oh, I know. Say with a British accent. Halix regional of the big toe joint. Rigidus. <laughs> Rigidus. Halix. Halix rigidus. See, it just sounds like Halix royalty. Rigidus. <laughs> hey, Nick, it's also like called just being strong as fuck. You should try to. <laughs> wow, I've been nothing but supportive of this <laughs> asshole. Asshole. <laughs> oh, that sounded a little. Are you I speaking see. to me in IRA? <laughs> <laughs> that would be like they're magically delicious. I love Lucky Charms, man. I'll tell you what, they they are delicious. I'm, I'm glad I'm, you tagged along. I'm a little slut for some cereal. <laughs> it's nice seeing a lighter side to Bobby, isn't it? It is. It I is. Can bring it out of people. Not many people get to see it. No, it's my first time. I've known more people for years. <laughs> I'm around people I like. Uh, this works. Doesn't happen very often. No, it doesn't <laughs> at all. Actually, that's my problem. Yeah, you don't like enough people. No, I don't. <laughs> You're trying hard to get enough. So, just gonna get Bobby to do some throwing. Uh, just going to do some individual throws. We've got it set up already. He's got to do the um, kettlebell at Worlds. Just do some individual throws and then we're going to put some throws together. Nice. You can get the 55 and we'll start putting them together. Nice. See that, I'll get it. Zero, Zero leg drive off the sand. That's, that's great. It's likely to be on sand as well, Bobby. There, there's no, there's like no leg drive. No. Are you ready? Lift. Nice. Really heavy off to one side. Yeah. <laughs> Athlete ready? Lift. Good. 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 
Good. Come on, Bobby, one more. Let's get this over first time. Nice. Yeah. Really good, mate. Good time as well, 33 seconds. That's not bad. Good. I felt rough. Yeah, it's yeah. Good. You've had a shit day yesterday, you've been swimming in people all day. Yeah. You're doing that today, you should be doing the hunt. Yeah. This is really just going to be about who executes. Yeah. yeah it's one of those Nikolai's beach ready. <laughs> Someone's got to come out here and bring the local average of sexy up to at least like a five. You know? It's probably not doing it. <laughs> The Neanderthal gene is very strong in this area. It right really now. is. <laughs> Felt like I released way too late. Yeah, it's different to come back. I don't know if I'd get that one over. Try it. Oh. I'm gonna work my way up. I'm not going <laughs> stupid. Try the 40 next. Yeah. What do you do? Just, is it, I, I mean, the, the blue one, try that next. A lot of the guys failed them the last two yesterday. You caught the floor as you kind of swung? Yeah. Clearance issue. Need a bigger suspension. Yeah. <laughs> Perks of being a middleweight. Oh, yeah, you can move. A heavyweight just stands there and knocks it back out of the way. Okay, athlete ready. Three, two, one, lift. Good. Good. Plenty. Good. 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 Come on, let's make sure. Come on, Bobby. Yep. Nice. 27.53. So, a bag, I do a pendulum, like I get on my toes, and then I scoot through. So, will I apply that here? The biggest thing is that because of the, the thickness of the barrel, you the, can't create enough space. Yeah. The biggest thing that's helped me is way more than the thing I'm trying to run. <laughs> He's also got a really strong back. Like clockwork. <laughs> Yay! We have to go to the gym. Go on, do what you were doing to him? <laughs> no, <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> this is what we do to middleweights. <laughs> So, session done. Bobby looking good. Yeah. We've got to go to a gym and sweet talk some plates. Um, sweet talk some plates. Bobby's looking really good. Throwing was quite impressive actually, considering he's not built as a normal thrower, but he's got so much power. And I think he can pick up good points on that. I think he can win the log. I think he can win the deadlift. Throwing's good. So, I think the carrying event should be good for him in the heats. He's, he's looking good. Question mark is the stones. We're going to have a session on that. But, um, he can genuinely win his group. He's looking very, very strong. And we're in a good place. And we actually got some laughs out of Bobby as well. I know, it's very rare. Good. He's, yeah. he's looking really good. I think he's focused. He is a very intense athlete. And he believes in himself right now. I believe in him. Nikolai even believes in him. So. <laughs> Buzzy! <laughs> Are we going to the gym? <laughs> yeah, come on. We're going to do another workout in a bit, but more normal workout. We won't bring you guys along for that. I don't even want to be brought along for that. <laughs> no. Yeah, we're feeling it today, aren't we? Get someone else to do it for you. It was a long day yesterday. Yeah, it was a long, long day. Long day. Red and sunburn. Some of us Ridden. aren't Iranian. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Nice, rare insight into seeing Bobby train. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you guys next time. Make sure you watch Bobby compete.